But Tortolani comes up with it, and Princeton, who has dominated here in overtime, will have another opportunity. And this is the matchup they want, Tortolani against Tully, number 41. Princeton working for a final shot here in the first overtime. Picked off by the defense and into Saran's stick. So we go the other way with just five seconds left here. Ball is picked up by Lockwood. He's aware of the clock. He's got to shoot, and he can't pull the trigger. So we go to double overtime. No blood here in the first one. Remember, it's sudden death. We remain tied. This will be the third double overtime in NCAA final history. In 73, is a 10-9 Maryland win over Hopkins. In 1980, Hopkins won 9-8 over Virginia. And there's been some absolutely great goaltending by both goaltenders. Let's take a look. This time, it's Chris Saran, and he has just been magnificent here in overtime. He's had a great second half, and the pressure has been intense on both ends of the field. But again, here's Saran coming up big. A stuff shot against Lowe. He went high on Lowe, you might say. Now Bill Turney is having his say, sending out instructions. What a game we've been treated to. Good to have you along. We go to the second overtime. Again, it's a four-minute period, one timeout per side, and it's sudden death. The first team to score, they will be the new NCAA champions. Very familiar position for these two guys, Bob Fazy and Greg Waller. They've been doing it all day. And it's picked up by Andy Moe. Moe on the go. Oh, it's over. Andy Moe. Princeton has won their first lacrosse championship. 